Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So here we are at Acorn Fisheries. Peg number 12. Been here for about two hours, setting up. Unloaded the van right behind the swim. Moved out the car park, dipped me nets, dipped me on hooking mat, dipped me waist sling. So yeah, the last two hours, I've had a little lead about down the margin, um, out in open water, and I've actually managed to find three spots I'm, I'm fairly happy with pretty quick. What I'm going to do, I'm going to flip the camera around now, show the areas I've got the rigs. I didn't bother filming it. I mean, I'll do some of that tomorrow, and I'm sure you guys are like pretty bored of seeing like, you know, me just leading around and finding spots and stuff like that. So, and the rigs as well. It's it's pretty, you know, standard rigs I fish. I've got one out on a bottom bait with a little corn tipper. I've got the other one out on a hinge stiff rig with the, the pineapple pop-up. And I've got the other one with a Ronnie rig with a pineapple pop-up. So, same mix as normal, Bonoffi, um, Scopex red liver with a bit of liquid, some crumb. Um, if you've seen me previous videos, that's that's the mix I'm sort of sticking with at the moment. It seems to be working well, sort of most places I go. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. So I'll flip the camera now, show you the three areas I've got the rods out. And then hopefully before I go to sleep and wake up in the morning, we can show you a fish on the bank. Um, just so you know, I'm fishing with Big Daz, um, Darren from Follyfoot in my last, not my last vlog, but the vlog before my last one. So he's in peg 11 to my right, I'm in peg 12. And um, yeah, I think he's got all three of his rods out now, um, all three of mine are out, so um, I'll show you where they are. Right guys, so I don't know if you can see just on the opposite bank over there, there's a little clearing between the bushes on the other bank. So what I've done is I took my leading rod over there and I had a little lead round down in this bottom corner to my right and to my left along this sort of margin between the bridge you can see there and the little clearing. Um, so basically my left hand rod from the swimmers you're looking out is um, sort of down in this bottom corner here. Um, I did find a sort of gravelly patch down there. There's, I, I did bring back a bit of debris, but um, you know, on, on, on the retrieve from the area where I'm actually fishing. So I'm, I'm very happy with that sort of area there. Um, shipped that out with the baiting pole. So what I did, I, just so you guys know, I cast from this peg over to that clearing. So it literally just landed a couple of feet on that bank. I took me bait round there, took the baiting pole. And then what I did, I put the rig in there. Um, so I had on my bay alarm here on the rod, I had that open. And then what I do, I did, sorry, is I shipped that down into that little bay there with a little bit of bait in the baiting spoon and yeah dropped it right in there um, same for the middle rod which um, was cast yet again into that little clear in there bait and spoon bit of bait shipped it down there we're sort of i would say halfway between the bridge and that clearing and we're about sort of three or four foot off the um the sort of bank there as you can see and then the middle rod i have got basically cast to that middle stanchion on that bridge that goes across to the island and we're about four foot four foot off of that oh hang on what was that a little touch on one of my rods then um so yeah we're fishing to that middle stanchion we're about four foot away from that it does sort of you know as as you come away from that concrete pillar it does sort of like drop off a bit so i'm i'm, I'm fishing in the sort of deeper water away from that and that one Basically, I just I, I sort of cast a bit closer to it, clipped it up, cast a bit closer, clipped it up, cast a bit closer, clipped it up, and then sort of, you know, got to the area I sort of wanted. Cast that in there, bit of PVA foam on the rig. Um, obviously, that melted, popped up in the water. I walked around, chucked a couple of spoonfuls of bait over that. So, um, yeah, that's where we're fishing. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little tour now. So, like I say, you can see inside, guys, this is massive, this hut. Um, we do have the benefit of electricity and yeah you could see if, if if there was a couple of you fishing here easily get two bed chairs there with plenty of space um so yeah I've, I've i've basically set up here so while i'm lying in bed i can see me rods out there um i've got me little hop up from work so i can do me cooking on that got me cool box box of bait as you do so we've actually got some of the black tiger nut to try this weekend i've not tried that one yet um lovely little window here as you can see absolutely beautiful view um if you could have this sort of view from your house um yeah you wouldn't grumble at that would you um so there we go like i say just sort of like setting up base camp at the moment still got to set me um 
sleeping bag and you know everything up on my bed chair but main concern was to get the free rods but i mean look as we walk outside guys that is an absolutely stunning view absolutely beautiful so just so you know i've, I've, I've basically got from the point of this island and i've got all the way along there and i've got all of this margin bay here and then big daz who's in the peg next to me he gets from that island and he basically gets halfway along the island and then the other guy who's in peg 10 next to him, he gets the other peg, uh, the other sort of side of that island. So, um, yeah, what we'll do, we'll, um, I'm going to flick some food on now, guys, and um, hopefully we'll catch up soon. Well, we're just walking over to Darren's peg, and I've just had a look at his distance sticks, right? Now, these are about four foot tall. Look at the height of them. Now, Darren is a big geezer. Darren's like six and a half, seven foot, but really, Darren? They're a bit big. Oi, oi, Darren. All right. Sorry, viewers, if it's a bit windy. It's picked up a bit there. Having yourself a beverage? Good man. Got your rods out? Three. Yeah. Do you want to explain to the viewers where you got them? Left one just down the margin. Probably about two and a half rod lengths down. Yeah, sort of just a little bit out. Quarter of the way between me and you, then, really. Yeah, pretty much. A little bit out, not tight to the margin at all. Yeah, it's quite shallow if you go to the margins here, aren't they? Yeah. Um, the other one's probably about a rod and a half from the tip of the island. Yeah, yeah. And again, not close at all coming yeah. up it. And probably um, just to the left-hand side of where it clears a little bit over there. One of the oh yeah, so right yeah. where right the, the viewers can see in the in the distance, you've got the big electricity pile on in there in the background. Nothing tight to the island. Yeah, yeah. Off of it. Yeah, nice. It's all good. So, um, what rigs are you going for then, and bait? Uh, slip these. Yeah. Wafters on. You have a bit of the slip in the yeah, D, don't you? The D. <laughs> um, two yellows and one pink. Yeah, nice. Mixing up a bit. We we sort of were led to believe that yellow fish is pretty well here, weren't we? So, I've gone yellow on all three of mine. A bit of fake corn on one, and um, that's not fake corn as in plastic. Before anyone drops that, you're not supposed to fish plastic. Um, so yeah, I got um, a little yellow tipper of corn, and then I got um, two of the the pineapple juicy juicy pineapple pop ups on there. So um, which seems to have been doing me well lately. So um, yeah, absolutely lovely evening. Seen a couple of splashing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Beautiful lake, and, and in actual fact, guys, Darren's in peg eleven, and that's peg ten over there. You see, that was the the first time I fished here, and the only time I fished here, I think pe fish peg ten. And um, oh, look at that! Oh, just where my rod is. Oh, that'd be brilliant if we got one live for the camera. Hopefully, you lose it, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, as I was saying, I was fishing peg ten the the last time I was here, which is the only time I've been here. And um, yeah, I had sort of, sort of three or four fish out, which was you know same sort of distance off that island as Darren's fishing. You know, sort of three, four foot off the island. Jamie was fishing the next peg down again into the little bay, which is just creeps down there in the corner and Jamie had a fair few out as well so um yeah really lovely late like I said had a good sort of chat to Mark earlier and um he sort of give us a bit of giving us a bit of insight as to you know areas to fish and sort of what works well so um hopefully guys this weekend should bring a couple of fish but um it has been fishing relatively you know not not many fish coming out because of spawning and you know etc etc but um we're not going to deter us. We're going to have a few fish out, aren't we, Darren? Hopefully, mate. Fingers crossed. A couple of big ones as well. All right. Say bye, Most Darren. important thing. The old jungle formula ready. Oh! I'm going to get eaten alive by this yeah. tonight. Eaten say, alive. Say bye, Darren. Bye, Darren. fish for me through the night um, as you'll see in a minute Darren had one um, just under 20 pound I think it turned out in the end he actually weighed it just after I left so um, yeah well done Darren for that literally just down the margin between me and him um, which is a surprise because um, I think most people fish towards the islands but um, that just goes to show don't ignore the margins um, I've had a few knocks on me rods here and there but as you'll see in the footage in a minute it looks like they started spawning um, there was one or two crashing around actually down between me and Darren and then over on the far far margin on the island there um, 
I'm seeing them now swimming back and forward. I haven't got a rod over there, so you know we can leave them to it over there. But um, yeah, <laughs> kind of had a feeling this would start happening. When I spoke to Mark yesterday, he said obviously, you know, they're getting ready to spawn. Um, there haven't actually been any signs of spawning yet, but it's a weird one because it's, it's it's really mild today. I mean, all right, granted, it's only eight o'clock this morning, but um, yeah, it's um, it's a lot cooler today than it uh, it has been. Um, so whether that's enough to sort of trigger them on after the extreme heat we've had. I mean, yesterday was late 20s, I like think 27 degrees down here in Somerset. Um, but yeah, we'll stick with it. Um, I'm not going to do anything to the rods. I'm going to leave them where they are. I'm fairly happy. The only one I've got a bit of concern is the one down to the left-hand margin there. When I was sort of giving it a lead around yesterday, there was um, a fair bit of debris. Um, I did put a Ronnie rig out over there. But what I might do, I might bring that in a bit later on, after morning time, um, and stick a, a hinge stiff rig on that, which sits a little bit higher. So if there is any, um, you know, sort of debris on the bottom there, um, the hinge stiff rig should sit a little bit higher. So um, that's a plan of attack today. Um, I'll give you some nice little lake shots in a minute. Um, as you've seen, just made myself a cup of coffee. Um, so yeah, start the day in a positive attitude and uh, see what it brings. Um, just another little tip I wanted to show you which I've done um, because this peg that I'm in is pretty much 99% concrete there are a couple of holes randomly drilled here and there within the you know the concrete um, for people with bank sticks what I've actually done is obviously I use me avid pod um, but what I've done is I've put a bank stick in the hole in the ground and then I've put one of my butt rests um, there which actually stops the strap that comes with this rod pod um you know moving so there's literally no way at all because this is probably down a good sort of six to eight inches there's no way at all this rod pod is going to go anywhere um i haven't got me, me clutches you know too tight anyway but um you know i want a little bit of resistance on them to help sort of you know bring that hook home um so yeah if you are coming to fish here just, you know, maybe bring an extra bank stick if you use a rod pod, because um, last thing you want to do is see a rod pod shooting off the side of this, um, you know, peg. But, um, yeah, it's just a little tip I thought I'd share with you there. Bang on 11 and a half. So it's 110 foot. These are 10 foot rods. Oh, oh my God. 10 foot rods. So I've got my, my marker sticks, 10 foot as well. Um, easy to work out with rod lengths, feet. So, all right, let's get his cast out. We'll go, we'll go with shit now. Here we are look guys, this is what I've just retrieved from the margin rig. So I'm hoping that this hasn't been like this all night and this has literally just been dragged back in now but um wouldn't surprise me. 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have an acorn common carp. Oh, off the pipe swim. Or off the pipe, I should say, not the swim. But off the pipe. Um, she's certainly got some beans in her. Around 12, 13 pound. Yeah, about that. Yeah, so not at all fussed about the weight. There we go. First carp of the session. Well happy with that. Pretty common. Just in front of the pipes, just off the edge of the area they've started up. So yeah, little 15 mil pink krill after a uh, pop up, sorry. Um, so yeah, happy with that. You see, can't you? I'm happy. Oh, yeah. I literally <laughs> didn't expect to get a fish with the spawning and that. So we're gonna um, we're gonna get this one back. But um, yeah, Darren's already done a few photos for me. So happy days. Right. Well, that was absolutely mental. I've not had a well. I'm going to say I'm not having a sniff, but I've had a few line bites here and there during the day. And then I've just had that fish. You've just seen me um, having the sting and, and Darren take some photos and that. And just as I was about to put it back, my other rod ripped off the one down the margin to the left-hand side. That was a powerful fish. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it come off. Um, to be honest, I was probably being a bit... <sighs> I could have given it a bit more line, but I just didn't want it to go down into the margin in the snag, so a bit too much pressure, hook pulled. Main thing is I've got the rig, everything back, um, so yeah, but I've got them straight back out to the same places, one down the margin, and then one off of those pipes over there, the margin, and I'm getting knocks already, so it's, it's crazy. I've literally, two fish in the space of a couple of minutes, nothing all day and I'm literally just watching me right hand margin rod here well sorry right hand margin that I've pre-baited and that's going mad so bloody fingers crossed I mean at the end of the day I'm happy I've, I've had a bloody fish so yes come on and um but yeah if we can get if we can get some more and we can get some bigger ones they're brilliant but um yeah I'm not gonna count me chickens too soon but um yeah thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon with another fish on the bank that was an early wake up call. Half past four. I mean, look how light it is already. Half past four. Got another one in the net. Absolutely buzzing now. Um, nothing through the night, which is actually quite good because I, I really did need a good night's sleep. But when we got in there, it's probably about the same as the last fish, about four, 15, 16 pounds, but another immaculate looking common. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get this rod back out again now and then we'll, um, we'll show you what we got. Fifteen, sixteen pound. I'm quick, quick. Yeah, island spot, pink pop up. This one's lively. Job done. <laughs> Darren's going to do some photos. Quick. Here we go. Fish number two, just off the island, by the bridge. Fifteen mil pink krill pop up again. Over some chops and whole boilies. Literally right on the bang half time, wasn't it, Darren? Yeah, bang on half time, seventy final. Yeah, so nil nil, Inter City, two nil to Lee. <laughs> so he's got a few little wounds on him here. So we're gonna um, just gonna treat them before we put them back in. You know, spawning. So if you want to pick it up and just show them, Darren. Want to pick the camera? Up? Come on, mate. Come on, you stay still. He's got one on the other side. His mouth was fine. So it was just um, a little bit on this side as well. 
just dry them off ever so slightly I find then put the little papyrus on come on mate Ew, little bugger I'm trying to help him let's put a little bit more on There you go. He'll be fine. Live to fight another day. Cheers, Dan. No worries. Let's go, go that. Off he goes. So Perfect. where you came in? Yeah. Cheers, Darren. Cheers for the just about netting it. <laughs> That was touch and go, that one. Literally, just as it was went into the net, the hook pulled. So, just counts. Nice one, mate. There you go. Fish number four. Same spot, just off the island. Same hook baits, everything else is the same. I won't bore you with it too much. Literally, a couple of hours left to go with the session. So yeah, lovely little mirror. Uh, I can't even recall what I've had now, but mostly been common, so. There's two commons and two mirrors or, yeah, but either way, lovely fish, nice dark colours on him, so Valentino Rossi's just gone by in the background. Um, yeah, lovely, happy with that. Got it rocking, let's get it back out. Right guys, so I'm having a pack down now. Um, we've had four fish out in total. One from each side of the margin, down my left, and two to just in front of the bridge off the edge of the island. Um, it's been a really good session all in all. Uh, well happy with four fish. Darren's had the one, nice literary scraper 20. Um, it hasn't been fishing that well the lake because of the, the spawning. Um, like I say, um, it's only my second time here, so to have four fish out, you know, with the conditions we've had is really good. Um, Darren's happy, first time he's ever fished here as well. So, yeah, new bait seems to be working really well. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier in the vlog, um, probably because I've just been so hectic as normal. Um, so, Dissolvables have now changed their name to Iconic Baits. Um, so, yeah, if you want to head over to, you know, their Instagram, their Facebook page, head over to the website and... Um, get your orders in and then hopefully somewhere along the lines um, I might speak to the guys over at Iconics and see if we can do some sort of discount um, discount code related to my channel that, that maybe you guys can get a, a few quid off for your first purchase but yeah like more than happy well happy with the decision I've made to move over to them um, after all the hassle with um, the other you know company I was with um, so yeah things are really looking good positive um, found something that seems to be working everywhere I go um, recently so that's always a bonus um, and yeah beginning to get to the stage now where you know if I'm not catching it's it's not to do with the bait or my rigs it's just that the fish ain't there so um, next session is two weeks time and that's Coking Farm with Sherry and that's Long Lake um, uh, I haven't fished Long Lake that many times to be honest um, Sherry and Jamie had a good little session there when they were there about a month or so ago um, they would have got all of their spawning out the way so hopefully all the the fish will be back on the munch and that and then um, we can bag a few for the camera there but um, as, as normal guys thanks very much for watching um, cruising past that you know thousand subscribers now we're up to uh, 1035 I think but um, yeah if any of you guys are new to my channel it, you know if you could please you know sub the channel and like the videos drop any comments um, it's all it's all very much appreciated and um, yeah really looking forward to the year ahead and um, what it's going to bring so um Stay tuned guys and we'll see you in the next one at Coking Farm. Let's go say goodbye to the little hobbit. G'day mate. Alright you little hobbit. Well, Have you enjoyed your time with the Dorset Carper? As always mate. Good yes. Back, as always. You've been to Costa? Uh -huh. I get you one. You selfish bugger, you didn't tell me you were going to Costa. So, what do we end on? One fish? 
Just over £20? Just one, yeah, just over the £20. Happy with that? Happy, yeah, first 20 of the year, so... Fabulous, darling. Special new venue. Yeah. So, when are we fishing next together? September, the islands. September, the islands. That's bloody ages away, isn't it? Because we're only beginning of June. July, August. Three months away. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm sure we, um, we'll convene before then for a day session or a, or a quick 24. Not a normal 24, a quick one. Yeah, because you pack up and go earlier. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. So I do a, I do a half a 24. But um, yeah, there you go, guys. Nice little view of this stunning lake, Acorn Fishery, near Clevedon, near Bristol. So yeah, definitely suggest getting yourselves down here. Um, yeah, lovely place. Like I say, the lake, I don't know if the camera's picking it up at all, but... The lake has got that lovely blue tinge on it where they've got the dye in here, so yeah. Right Darren. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>